Hello everyone and welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I recently bought the DLC map Quattro Colinas. I thought I would first do all the storyline missions. This made me think of recording that and making it into the short series for here on the channel. Well, I do play on Xbox, so I couldn't record my voice at the time. And there will only be the dialogue. However, I might do some post commentary like right now. Just to clarify things and make it a bit more interesting to watch. So without further ado, let's start the video. Enjoy. My family have held our vigil over these majestic swathes of countryside for generations. My roots are deep here, and the success and survival of Cuatro Colinas Game Reserve is my primary responsibility. And now, my old friend, we are reunited. It's been a long time since we last worked together, but I know you're going to be essential to my plans for the future. I trust that you slept well last night, and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Colinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to love hunting here. The first thing I would like you to do is to experience the sublime Bosque Vista. Not far from where you're standing just now. From atop the vista, one has a splendid perspective of the reserve. This view includes one of our magnificent outposts, which I recommend you visit when you get the chance. I know a rugged outdoor explorer like you doesn't need to spend the night in the luxury of a castillo, but you do have all of our visitors' outposts at your disposal. My mother and father had all of these lodges built over the last 35 years. The lodge you are looking for is called Casa Alfonso. To modernize the reserve, we have recently updated the interiors of all of our lodges. We kept the original stone cladding though. The contrast in styles is pure magic. Standing here, you are following in the footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings, as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. When you have sampled enough of the view, take the walk down to the outpost. I hope you didn't forget the lodge key in the castillo. There are some parts of Cuatro Colinas that only a select few know about. I'm taking you to a place where the views are magnificent and the hunting is even better. I've sent you the coordinates for the trailhead that leads to this divine setting. Normally, I would insist on being there with you while you experience it, but I don't want you to miss it. I encourage you to hunt as much as you'd like. You are undoubtedly keen to become familiar with the rolling hills, steep ascents, and your wily prey. You should search for animal tracks. I know you have experience, but one should utilize every advantage when taking on the cunning beasts of Cuatro Colinas. Of course, if you're lucky, you'll probably hear something just from walking through that part of the reserve. The hunter I knew didn't rely on luck, though. I recall that you used to have wonderful hearing. Is that still true? Or have your years gotten the better of you? You 
you have arrived. Is it not stunning? Recently, I've only come here to meditate. It is so ethereal and serene, even when the rain is falling. When I first invited you to visit, I assumed that I would be coming home to host you as a visitor, spending time here before traveling abroad once again. With my return being prompted by my mother's passing instead, my focus has been entirely on work, instead of enjoying the very places that bring me comfort. I am pleased that I was able to show you this. In a way, I got to experience it vicariously. Of course, it's also one of our best spots to go hunting. I've never gone on a hunt out there and returned home empty-handed. If you are able to pull yourself away from the tranquil beauty of the cove, there are many other wonderful sights for you to see. Senor Baden, our company for last night, appears to be enjoying his time here as well. He's a unique fellow, but quite charming in his own way. When I mentioned that I had hired you as a professional hunter, he seemed a little bothered. He then proceeded to inform me of some hunting accolades that he has received during his career as a hunter. Until recently, I put his candor down to the sangria, but he seems equally enthusiastic in his self-promotion, even with a clear head. Apparently, he has harvested a pair of ibex already. I think someone is trying to market themselves as a worthy competitor. I think it's time for you to remind me what you can do. I'd like for you to harvest an animal. Any animal. Once you're done, let me know, and I'll inform Senor Baden that he has a little competition. When I first returned to help run the reserve after my time away, these were the places I wanted to be. Places that reminded me of my mother. Just a short way down the cove, there is another splendid view. I recommend it. going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. 
Until recently, we had road signs warning of the drivers of the danger. I mention this to you because these signs have suddenly disappeared, as if by magic, and I need you to replace them. I know that this would normally be a hunter's job, but I have asked the mayor to take care of it, and he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send a crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. Serves apex predator and is useful in the control of wild boar populations. This doesn't mean that the farmers like having them here. spot. I left the signs so you'd be able to find them easily. Once you've retrieved the signs, there are poles about 30 meters from the bend in either direction. Attach the signs to the poles. This isn't even the first time this has happened. I've heard of drunk people stealing traffic cones, but this must be something else. Though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat herd who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has gone missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Paloma. This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search. It stands on its own, so it should be easy to find. And that is going to do it. I'll wrap up the video right here and save the rest for another one. Hope you like it and perhaps even found it useful. And yeah, see you at the next one. Till then.